I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're amazing. <laughs> hey, that was great, wasn't it? Sounds great, man. Yeah. And all of these different guitars. What yeah. have we got? We got a the Yamaha, oh, Revstar, Revstar, 820. Yep. A new uh, Nashville Telecaster there. Yep. We've got my old trusty Relic. We've got a ES335 and we've got the Captain's Les Paul 58 here. So all and loads of different pedals because we thought, basically what we're doing is we're doing the Tone King, aren't we? I was and just going to the most to, important bit. Yeah, and we need to say welcome first. We need to say welcome <laughs> to Guitar Parodies on Anthony's TV. He's Paul. And ah, he's Pete. Ah, I got you there. Hey, hey. I just want to change it up a little bit. You know. um, we're Not doing... From, sorry, go on. No, that was it. I mean, basically, yeah, we've got all these pedals. <laughs> exactly. The most important bit here, apart from you and me. Exactly. The Tone King. Well, it's even more yeah. important, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so, the Tone King Falcon. Now we've done some uh, on Guitar Parodies, so we've done some videos before on the okay. Tone Kings and we mm -hmm. really, really, really like these amps. Okay. I have not done anything on this before. My first time with these amps, completely. Uh, first time I've really been aware of them. Um, check them out on the website. Yeah. First impression. Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah. That is a cool looking amp. All of the colours. Oh, like yeah. The old sort of retro 50s yeah. cars, like blue and you know, I love all that stuff. Yeah. I think it might even be a pink one. Yeah, it looks like an old TV or like an old television. Yeah, I think it? I think my grandmother had a had an old radio that looked very very similar to that. <laughs> I think mine still does. Yeah. <laughs> what is a yeah. remote control? I don't know how to use that anyway. <laughs> so, well, very 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 similar, straightforward in this. It's an amplifier that's designed to sound like the amps from the fifties and the sixties. Yeah. Um, really warm sounding. Um, the guy uh, Mark didn't want them to have that raspy kind of sound. So, yeah. Um, six V six is in there. Yeah. Um. And uh, just a very, very straightforward, simple amp to use. So we've got a volume control and a tone control, but they're, they're really interactive with each other. So you'll find that as the tone control goes up, it will change the volume. And as the volume changes, it will change the tone as well. So yeah. um, it's not just adding a bit of treble or anything. It is, they are interactive and they, are, they do work together as yeah. well. After that? No effects loops. No effects no, loops. No fancy stuff, stuff at all. So it's basically a 12 watt, yep. 6v6, 6 6 112. 
tiny little combo, easy mm -hmm. to use, takes pedal really well, pedals really well as you can yeah. hear. So we've got a, a array of pedals on the floor here. We've got a Layla box uh, three in one, so we can switch between us and a looper and some had a little reverb thing going on there because there's no reverb in this amp either. Yeah, um, bit, of, bit of delay for me. Yeah. You know, and on the front of the panel, so we'll just go quick and through the amp really quickly. You've got your volume, you've got high low inputs, you've got a volume, and you've got tone, and you've got a, a voicing switch. We've got three different voicings. Yeah. Rhythm, tweed, and lead, which you also know if you know any of the other amps. Yeah, they'll have sort of the similar thing. Yeah, on the back. Just reading through the manual on that, the, the rhythm sound is a Fender um, Blackface yeah. kind of sound. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your tweed kind of vintage tweed sounds tweed. there. Yeah. And then a vintage tweed kind of lead sound yeah. on there as well. So yeah, yeah it's a very warm sound and natural, exactly. natural amplifier on that. And there. it's it's kind of it's kind of built to be to be a small portable light amp. Which is still loud enough to gig, I think, because at the moment we're running it on four. These ones goes to nine, not eleven. <laughs> it goes to nine. There's one less in it. <laughs> um, in it. In it. Uh, and it's, it's and it's loud in this room. You know, it's very this loud. Is, this is uh, this yeah. is this is more than loud enough for, uh, for yeah. certainly for for bedroom levels. My neighbours would not be very happy playing this. <laughs> when they play them this loud. Well, you just need to live in the middle of nowhere, mm. so you can just have just crank it out all up, mm. line it mm. up, crank it all up. Yeah. Um, so and they got they do some amazing colors that you can choose from on the website. So we're gonna have them all here now. So they do like turquoise. I'm just gonna read about. This is the cream one. They do a brown one. They do a black one. You can get loads of different colors on them. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, on the subject of the volume, it's, uh, it has the Iron Man attenuator built into there yeah. as well. So we were just discussing the Iron Man attenuator. Was it around 600? The 650 pounds. Yeah, the first attenuator? the first one that came out was was that amount of money, you know. And you yeah. if you want to buy a small gigable amp like say Fender Princeton. Mm -hmm. or something like that you know and you want to have an attenuator to to take it down and you you know you're going to spend that money anyway so yeah. these are about 1400 pounds at the moment yeah i absolutely. believe uh links will be below yeah and you can go and have a look at that as well yeah and, and of course come and try them out yeah i mean it seems like a lot of amplifiers have attenuators now as well and i mean the guy really seems to care about the attenuator in this you know, it's something he's put a, he's put a lot of time and very passionate time about and it. thought into yeah um yeah, just uh, I mean, it's just quite interesting just reading the manual how passionate he is about that in terms yeah. of um, just warning people that the speaker has a lot of interaction with how how the amp sounds as yeah. well and how you perceive volume as well. You know, yeah. so he's not just put an attenuator in there and said it's the best attenuator ever. Full stop. You know, he actually cares about the attenuation yeah. circuit very very much as well. You know, so, and, and you can tell that as well. You know, when we had it knocked down before, it sounded it really sounded like a loud amp. Yeah, it but, does, but, but it? not, a, not as crazy, crazy volumes earlier. So. Which we will show you in a minute. Yeah. And um, so these are, the, the PCB boards are, it's not a hand-wired amp. No. But there printers, was a reason for that. Yeah, printed circuit boards, uh, just for consistency. Yeah. But really high quality printed yeah. circuit boards as well. So it's, and know, as, so as it's, it's extra, extra thick. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, sold out all the, all the components are sold on the top and the bottom as well. Um, and instead of just having a hand wired amp, which is quite kind of obviously very labor labor intensive, but it can be really inconsistent as well. So, yeah. so his passion really was to, to make a make a circuit board that was really well thought out. It's not you know it's not necessarily just like straight from each component to the other. You know, you'll actually do it like a yeah. like a hand wired yeah. like a hand wired amp, but but consistently it's going to sound great. Well, if it's good so, enough for the NASA space shuttle. As, as Lisa, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. that's basically, yeah. they use that as well, so, you know, if it works there, it has to work there, doesn't it? You don't want to yeah. trap that in space. <laughs> or do you? Or do you? Well, it depends on know. what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> anyway, so we had loads of different guitars, we've got lots of different amps, so there's, there's, there is no effects loop in there. Uh, we've got a T-Rex cream on the floor, just for a little bit of reverb. Yeah. Um, which is sit on a hole now, or sit on a spring, just so we have that. And um, this... Hang on, I'll go on the box here. Uh, I'm just going to give you some really quick tones through the through the just the th three different modes here with with a strat normal strat basically. Uh, sounds like this. So it's, it's just just a, that was with a little bit of spring reverb mm -hmm. on. on uh, I believe the attenuation. Let me just quick. So the attenuation is full. So on zero. 
right? So it's got, so it's off. So it's basically off. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> it's on full, full for the purpose of this conversation, is off. Is it? Is it full or is it <laughs> off? You know, it's one of those things. But so you got, you got, uh, you got zero dB. You got minus three dB. Mi mm. Minus nine. I'm just reading off because uh, minus fifteen, minus twenty four, and minus thirty six mm. dBs. Right. Yeah. So it's a lot. You can go down, and you can, uh, you can. Anyway. So, so that was just a lot of the buzz. A lot of the buzz. So the buzz. Tweed. Over here, you just flick the switch there, and you go. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Let's great. go here. Um. Sounds good, man. It's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just a great, it's very, very loud, and we're only on four. I don't want to turn it up even louder because I think that's just going to be too much for yeah. us. Yeah. Lead! As you can hear, I mean, as, sorry, I'm just going to turn that back down there because as you can hear, the reverb now is in the front reacts differently on that channel, yeah. didn't it? Mm. So yeah. it was set completely the same, the pedal. Mm -hmm. And that's. When you've got these three different voicings, mm -hmm. it, it'll change it a bit, won't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, anyway, that sounds. I mean, that sounds great. That sounds like a. That would be a great. It's that record, recording amp. Yeah. You know, where you can have something like twelve watt amp on loud or with that attenuation. On yeah. It's going to be a great. But that's recording. way too loud, isn't it? Uh, what I want to do is, um, I want you to play a bit, mm -hmm. and I want to go into uh, rhythm, and then I think we need to check this attenuator out, really, don't we? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Good. rock. So I'm going to be standing around the back here and just flicking it. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be standing Stand around the back of him, <laughs> flicking it off. Always standing around the back of me, flicking things. Flicking things. Um, <laughs> which is not, okay. So you play something. Let's have a clean tone with the um, with the with, with the new Telecaster Deluxe yeah. Nashville Fender thing, you know. Yeah. So let's hear what that sounds like before I start <laughs> flicking stuff. <laughs> So that was just from from talking where you can talk till it was to, like uh, like yeah. this, and, and even with like everything, a drive, everything, everything in between, in between yeah. with the telly. Yeah. What pickup were you on? I, I moved around a little bit. Okay. So we had all the real brightness of the yeah. of the, of the bridge pickup right to the dark sound of Fantastic. the. Fantastic. No, of the neck I mean, pickup, yeah. I mean, how good was that? Let's go back to rhythm, and then I put the generator back on zero, so full okay. up or I'll just all the way off. Changes the <laughs> 
And then let's see what it does with pedals, because that's basically what this amp is. You know, you'll have this amp, you'll set it to a nice, nice tone, and you put an overdrive on it, maybe a delay, a little bit of reverb or whatever. You know, we we picked a few here. We've got a Plimsoll, we've got a Nobles Overdrive, we've got a T-Rex replica, we've got an Analog Man King of Tone, we've got a Carbon Cubby MXR, and we've got a T-Rex uh, Creamer. So Paul's got the uh, Yamaha Revstar, Revstar 820, yeah, 820, and uh, it's got some. The output of the pickups are much higher, so um, we'll keep it down here. So we've got a clean tone, and he's going to try to put on some overdrive, different overdrive. So the Nobles is kind of a, a gentle drive, yeah. And then nice the Plimsoll is kind of a here we go. So start with a clean tone, which sounds like this. Yeah, let's let's do uh, let's do the plim soul. It was just a little more sort of distortion pedal. That was, even though that was kind of kind of distorted that pedal, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the nobles, the... even this, I think it's about twelve o'clock to drive, but okay. amps takes pedals differently, don't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Sound very 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 nice. Cool, man. Very nice. Cool. Um, let me try to do the strat here, just on the clean tone. I'll, I've got an analog man, king of tone, with two different uh, gain stages. Uh, and the clean is like this. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that was basically, great. so first uh, side one, and then side two on its own, and then both of them together. And that was just the uh, the strat. I'll just quickly try to do a Les Paul to see. <laughs> I'm gonna drop that. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't that. drop any of it. Don't, <laughs> don't drop, drop any of it. Don't drop Lee's own guitar. All right. Um, I was thinking about dropping mine. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so, 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 <laughs> drop that. Don't drop my guitar, this one doesn't matter. Yours is covered in scrapes anyway. Look at this. Exactly. Look at this. No, this it's needs some, notice. It needs a bit of things and dongs, this one. All right, so, uh, let's pull. Let's pick up. That's probably a blues tone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really nice. Breaks up a little bit even on the rhythm channel because the mm -hmm. pickups are much more sort of punchy. In in it's, it's only 12 watts, you know, so it will it will do that. Let's just a little bit of that on here. Let's boost the type guy. Very bluesy, isn't it? It's very bluesy. Try um, a hollow body guitar, which I have right over here. I've got loads of guitars today, it's crazy. Over here, over here in the business of guitars. All right. <laughs> so, my 335. Beautiful. It just takes loads of, it's just a really, yeah. really nice little amp. It, it's just that big warm sound from the 50s and 60s. Yeah. Like it's kind of, that's what that's, it is. That's what, that's, it, it, it's just like it says on, on, the, on the tin the box. In, in the, the manual. And it's all the well, manual. it's only really yeah. nicely built. And he's in Baltimore in yeah. America. And you know, they made them over there and they sent them mm. over here to us in Anderson's. And then you can come in and try them out in the store. And if you've got all of them there, and if you do want to have a look at uh, some of the other videos like the Sky King or the, um, the yeah. Gra Fal uh, Falcon Grande and the other amps, we have done some videos before, so they will be in the Guitar Parodies or Playlist. Cool. So you can go and check them out as well. I, I will be checking those out. Yeah, because I'm impressed. I like this one. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks and cool. I'll be yeah. definitely interested in one of the crazy colors though. That's, uh that's, that's what, what you want, a, a, Jet, a Jetsons TV. That's to go with your want, Soldano, yeah. Soldano <laughs> in uh, snakeskin. I do have so a snakeskin right. Soldano. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> that Back in the nineties. Back in the nineties, because we're not <laughs> old at all. <laughs> right. Anyway, I think we just need to uh, to say goodbye because yes. I think that's that's uh, it's covered the little Falcon. Yeah. Made in USA. Yeah. Don't pop it. in the store and try it. Yeah. yeah. Try it for yourself. Sounds great. Sounds Links great. will be below and discuss. And uh, he was Paul. And he was Pete. And uh, over there's Taylor, and we'll see you next time. Bye!